today. From M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, it's week six of the NFL on EA Sports. Baltimore Ravens taking on the New York Jets. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first drive, pick six. The offense never got a chance to really get oiled up there, did they? But the defense, they certainly got in gear. What a big-time play and a great way for them to start. And now the offense, they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And looking to erase his memory bank from his opening drive a moment ago that ended in a pick six for the first points of the ball game. And in my experience, a lot of quarterbacks, after throwing a pick six, the first thing they want to do is fire another one and get those points back immediately. But it really helps you get back in sync as a good, long, methodical drive, mixing the run in the pass, tamp things down a little bit. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Eluding the pressure right. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll hand it off to Ferguson, and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. They find some open field here. Oh. 
So the Jets now in great position here to start things out. They're led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU at Zach Wilson. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. It doesn't put them in bad situations. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Barkley again, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now as we look down, it appears we've got a Jets shaking up on the play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. see if they can but this is third and goal Barkley and he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two yard line only a yard there so it brings up fourth and goal well if this defense can hold him to a field goal here what a win that would be not just a win on the possession but psychologically take over the ball game but this started with first and goal so they were in four down territory right from the beginning I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown and the 10 year bet knocks it through the goalpost, and the lead moves to 10 zip. The bottom line tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine a head coach when he ordered the field goal. Please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. Bottom line, he's got to figure things out. He's completed three passes, but two of them have been to the wrong team so far. And when we talk about the best quarterbacks, we're usually talking about touchdown to interception ratio. And two to one is acceptable, but the top line guys, three to one or better is what they're looking for. Now we're talking about interceptions versus completions. completions. That's not a ratio should ever be in any discussion. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throw on the right side, complete to Harrison. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. They'll drop the throw, escaping the pressure right. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively, that they want to insist on going in that direction, make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. The numbers on the ground for Ferguson last week. 18 carries, 116 yards, and a trip to the end zone. And the way they ran the ball in last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 43-yard line. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. On 
the handoff. This is Ferguson. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And that's why he spent a first round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Play fake here on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Harrison. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On the counter, it's Ferguson. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. On play action, they'll throw. That's going to be caught. And in for the Ravens touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens draw a bit closer. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed it in the huddle. Hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we've put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. Now the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. And a pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more. bring out an extra defensive back here on third. They go play action now. Wilson. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. 
It's a big play that time by the Jets. But dialing up that play call certainly meant that he grabbed a little extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short, you're just trying to move the sticks, get the ball just past that line of scrimmage. Instead, they take the big shot downfield, and it pays off. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. That one caught by Ellison. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. A first down carry for Barkley. Oh, able to avoid him. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. He has just eclipsed the 13,000-yard mark for his career. What a career it's been. Incredible running the football. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. A strong run there, boy, when he gets it, especially around the goal line, like a bull in a china shop. And none of us ever want to confront that bull in any china shop, do we? Any more than we want to confront him. Got behind his pads, ran with power, and got into the end zone. What an asset around the goal line, a guy like that. It's almost like a safety blanket, isn't it? When all else fails, hand it to this big back and let him power his way forward. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Taken in at the three. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. In the midst of, well, let's just say a not-so-rosy losing streak. They've got the open week, though, coming up next weekend, so you have to figure this to be a game that they dearly love to have. Oh, indeed. They have to have this one because that's something positive to take with you when you go away for a few days, and it actually releases your mind. If they lose this one, that mind stays cluttered the entire time they're away, and they've got to scramble to get back in sync when they start playing again. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field. And he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. All right, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline. Step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. The first down run by Barkley, unsuccessful, as he won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. On second and 11 now. Wilson throwing the out route incomplete. It's Gregory. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he'll lose yardage, brought down at the 32. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Now second and 11 from the 32. From the shotgun, Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Briggs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Wide open. 
open receiver complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Saquon Barkley with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Jets will extend their lead. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. field now here comes the jet defense and a big reason they have the lead right now as we see on the screen their three turnovers and how about the emotion now that the defensive team is generating for the entire team creating the turnovers the raven offense set at the line for this next drive and with a little under a minute remaining they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down that one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion, set up another passing down here on third and long. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. He'll drop to throw. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On second down now, it's Ferguson. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And likely time for one final play here in the half. So they will go for it on fourth down. They'll throw now on the final play. Flushed out right. He's going to let this go deep. Back over the middle. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. We'll start up in the Steel City, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And it's the Colts on top as that one approaches halftime. Jamar Chase, a touchdown reception. From there, we'll head to Washington to check out the football team at home at FedEx Field. And they currently trail the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Devontae Smith, a touchdown reception. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. So here are the Jets now to take over. They were winners over the Dolphins last week. They are on top right now as well as they come up first and ten. They go play action with Wilson. 
He finds his man complete. That's Gregory. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Throwing again on second down. Wilson firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. On third down, Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to the zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. He's going to look deep down the field. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive, I think they just crossed it on that one. They start out with a run by Ferguson. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Now a throw here, hauled in, and able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. right now it's just not completely calculated correctly seven picks between last week and this week after that one and they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears but right now it's all those interceptions that are and now this is intercepted my goodness picked off inside the five and the return will stop them well inside their own 20 at the 15 yard line well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, 
they got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Right back to Ferguson, and they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. On first down, Ferguson, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage, and we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they've bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. They're going to look to throw, eluding the pressure right. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll try with Ferguson, and he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Back now in Baltimore. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They go play action here on first down. Being chased out left, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think you can easily follow the thinking there. The pressure on the last play, and then it got to him. So they decided, let's get him out of there, bootleg him out to the right. Unable to complete the pass downfield, but the thought process, spot on. Rolling to his right. He finds his man complete. It's Harrison. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Well, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. stopped him cold that to me that's good scouting and even better execution yeah and they stopped him behind the line right there they obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments and he's got Rome and he is finally brought down at the Ravens 14 yard line 57 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot one thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. 
On second down, here's the option. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. The Jets on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. Here's Wilson to throw. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Jets are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going and you hate to see this for them but they're looking at yet another loss to begin this season things really going from bad to worse as they trail here starting this drive first and ten in the fourth quarter they'll try and start this drive in the air and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down They'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Ravens on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third and three. Out of the gun, here's Ferguson. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. That was fourth and what we would call long in that situation, wasn't it? That wasn't fourth and inches, was it? No, I mean, you get in those situations, fourth and three, fourth and four, that's that's a lot to, what, what would you say, a lot of pizza left in that box. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> not everyone dove in on that one. In today's NFL, this is a passing down. All right, this is not a running down. That takes a lot of guts to call that play and even better execution. Back to throw now on first down. Flush to his right. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And second and ten. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. Check 
Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Hard throw, incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Flushed out right. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's a give to Barkley. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did. And you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed that's a great way to close them out so for the Jets it's a much needed victory as it gets them back to two and four on the year and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again meanwhile for Baltimore the downward spiral continues as they drop to